How's it going guys? Cesar Ramirez here and wanted to share with you this quick tip here from eBay. So as you guys know, the Elite Dropshippers has developed a new part of add-on thanks to a lot of the members giving back feedback to increase the seller uh, you know, traffic on eBay and that's adding multiple images to your to your listings. And so what we've done is we've added some code in there to add multiple images and file exchange works perfectly. So now in your gallery, you have multiple images being imported. So not just one, but you're gonna have two or three depending on the amount of images that is coming from that supplier. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, the, the concern is that it's not working correctly with Turbo Lister. So just got off the phone call with eBay and this is what they shared with me. They said Turbo Lister was never designed to be uh, so much a listing tool. It's more of a troubleshooting tool for for eBay reps to handle uh, customer troubleshooting stuff to go in there and look at the, the different listings. So it wasn't actually, I didn't know this, this is actually news to me, we've been doing this for almost three years now, that it's a brand new, um, rather it's just a, a troubleshooting tool. That's what Turbo Lister was, was meant for. Um, first time I've ever heard of this before, again this came from eBay uh, advanced apps uh, support. Okay, What is suggested is that you use file exchange as a spreadsheet to handle um, our, our spreadsheet functions that what we, we what we create here at Elite Dropshippers, which is a CSV file has a multiple images and, and that is supported. So um, I wanted to share this tidbit with you guys that we're going to continue to develop the file exchange side, support that a little bit more. Uh, file exchange, uh, Turbo Lister, there's not so much that we can do there, so we may end up removing the multiple images uh, unless you guys want to leave it, leave it there. You guys have to let me know. Uh, we can leave the the multiple images there, but they will be showing up at the bottom of the listing um, or you can just what you can do is uh, it may take a little bit longer but what you can do is take the the list the the, the, the URL okay so the multiple URLs are going to be separated by either a semicolon or, or a pipe uh, which is what eBay just shared with me you can also use a pipe which is a line uh, you can copy that and then place that in the picture one field of that turbo lister uh, listing but just keep in mind that um, you have to do that by hand okay our software can't import it because as soon as you import the separation of, of images, uh, Turbo Lister will automatically split them up into different fields. Okay, so that's why we can't uh, do that uh, automatically or automagically because eBay, uh, yeah, eBay's Turbo Lister is actually isn't designed to do that. They're pushing more for file exchange for for handling um, multiple up upload requests. Okay, does that make sense? Um, and, and in that sense, uh, she actually shared something that made a lot of sense too. She's like. Why do you want? Why do you want to go from you know a spreadsheet to a to a program to then eBay? You know, skip the program and just go from a spreadsheet straight to to eBay, which is what file exchanges is intended for. So hopefully this tip gives you guys an insight. Um, I would agree. You know, modify your your file exchange. Um, uh, you know, spreadsheet. Take care of what you're supposed to take care of. Your titles. Okay. Verify your prices. All that good stuff. Um, and then upload it directly to eBay through a file uh, upload feature. And again, that works for both Mac, Windows. Um, I'm sure it works for Linux too, since it's uh, it's all web-based. So um, nothing about uh, different versus Turbo Lister being just about Windows. I know we have a lot of Windows users that love Turbo Lister, and uh, I just wanted to share this update with you guys. It's out of our control. Um, I actually put a request in, and I'm going to send one into eBay anyway. But she says chances are they're not going to update the software to handle that because it's not intended for multiple images, multiple handling of uh, importing of items. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, to me, that's, that's what Lister stands for, but it is what it is. That's what eBay shared with me. So here it is. Here's a nugget I wanted to share with you guys. So this is Cesar Ramirez, Elite Dropshippers, moving on forward. Get ready for the holidays. I'm telling you guys, list, list, list. Gear it towards what's hot right now. Search hot items right now that they're selling on, on the supplier web, uh, websites and then list that stuff because you want to be in front of the storm that's about to happen here towards the end of November, end of this month, and then, of course, going moving on to December because of the holiday season. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care now.